Okay, let's do one more example of the kinds of calculations that you'll need to do for this week's lab. In this case, we want to calculate the mass percent concentration of chloride in tap water if the chloride ions in a 20 milliliter sample of tap water were titrated with 12.5 milliliters of a 0.01085 molar solution of silver nitrate. So in the context of this question, the silver nitrate solution is what's going to go in the burette. This is our titrant. And then what we're interested in learning more about goes in our flask or beaker underneath the burette is the analyte solution. So to begin, let's start with what do we mean by mass percent concentration? So mass percent concentration defined as the mass of what we're interested in, in this case, grams of chloride, compared to the mass of the sample, grams of sample, times 100%. So to find the mass percent chloride in my sample, I need to know two numbers, the grams of chloride in the sample and the grams of sample. sample. So this will be a two-part plan. The first plan is I'm gonna take the information given to me and find grams of chloride. So the other information I'm given is the volume and the concentration of the titrant solution. And I can use that information, milliliters of silver nitrates where I'll start, convert that to of solution, convert that to liters of silver nitrate solution. Convert that number into moles of silver nitrate using molarity of the solution. That's why I need to convert from milliliters to liters. And finally, convert from moles of silver nitrate to moles of just silver. That allows me to calculate how many moles of silver ions are in 12.5 milliliters of this solution. What I want though is grams of chloride. So in, in, in the uh, limit of space here, start continuing with moles of silver ions. I can get moles of chloride ions as we normally do in these types of stoichiometry problems, moles of one substance, moles of a different substance using the balance equation, and that's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then finally, moles of chloride to grams of chloride using the molar mass information. That's the first part of the plan. The second part of the plan is to convert from grams of, to get grams of sample. And I can do that from the volume of sample. So milliliters of sample to grams of sample. And I can do that one step conversion given the density of the sample as my conversion factor. So in the first case, we have 12.5 milliliters, just a matter of doing the math. So we have 12.5 milliliters of my silver nitrate solution convert that to liters. So we know that from our definition of milliliters, that there are a thousand milliliters per liter. So thousand milliliters of silver nitrate solution is equivalent, same meaning volume as one liter of the solution. I said before, convert from milliliters liters because now I can use molarity because a 0 0.01085 molar silver nitrate solution this number means that the solution was prepared such that there are 0 0.01085 moles of silver nitrate dissolved per one liter of the silver nitrate solution. So I can use this as a conversion factor, convert from liters to moles or moles to liters. In this case, I'm gonna convert from liters to moles. So I multiply by the molarity. We could find then how many moles of silver nitrate are present in this volume of solution. Finally, though, I want to not find moles of silver nitrate, I need to find moles of silver because it's moles of silver ions that are reacting with moles of chloride ions in my balance equation. As is often the case, though, notice that for every one mole of silver nitrate, according to its formula, there's one mole of silver. Simple one-to-one -one ratio. And if I just enter the space, Pause right here to find moles of silver ions. We get 12.5 times 0 0.01085. And we get that number divided by 1,000. We find then that in 12.5 milliliters of our solution, there were 1.35625 times 10 minus 4 moles of silver ions. That's how many moles are present. Getting closer to my answer here, I want to find moles of silver. I want to find moles of chloride then from that. So if I start with this number, 1.35625 times 10 to minus 4 moles of silver, 
So again, from the balance equation, for every one mole of silver ions that I added, it fully consumed one mole of chloride ions, it's a one to one ratio. So for every one mole of silver ions present, it consumed one mole of chloride, and then convert from moles of chloride to grams of chloride, we use a molar mass of chloride, which from the periodic table information, one mole of chloride has a mass of about 35.45 grams. So then we could find that that number of moles of silver ions will react with, fully consume, about 4.808 times 10 minus three grams of chloride. 4.8079 times 10 minus three grams of chloride. Not my final answer, but that is gonna be the numerator of my percent chloride calculation. To find the denominator, that's part two, where I convert from volume of sample to grams of sample using the density information as my conversion factor. So for part two, we have our 20 milliliter sample. And the density information tells us that for every one milliliter of the sample has a mass of 0 0.9980 grams for every one milliliter of that sample, it's the density. So practically then multiplying my volume by density gives me the mass of that sample. So 20.00 times 0 0.9980 tells me then that 20 milliliters of the sample has a mass of about 19.96 grams. That now is a denominator. So then taking this ratio of the mass of chloride in mass of sample gives me the percent chloride information that I'm after. So finally, percent chloride is my 4.8079 times 10 to minus three grams of chloride. I calculated my first plan divided by mass of sample. I just calculated 19.96 grams of sample times 100% gives me my final answer here of 4.8079 times 10 to the minus three divided by, divided by rather 19.96 mass of chloride divided by mass of sample times 100% gives me my answer of my percent chloride of about 0 0.02409 percent chloride which means then that according to my experimental results, by mass, the total mass of any sample of tap water, about 0.024% of that mass is due to the chloride ions that are present in that sample.